Hey there Hannah, it's Phil and I have bipolar disorder and I'm responding to your video on dating and bipolar. For me personally, it came down to self-awareness and self-auditing as well as the will to get better. Now what I mean by that is I feel like I need to know when I'm getting manic or when I'm manic and I know that not everyone knows when it's happening. Uh, and I don't all the time either, but if I knew or if I know, then I, I, I can try to work around the craziness and being wild and and sometimes annoying, speaking a little bit louder and fast, as well as if I'm getting depressed or if I am depressed so that I know if I'm being frustrating or being a Debbie Downer all the time and, and things like that. So I can either, you know, work my way around it, say less, or call out sick. And then the other thing is the will to get better. I, now I don't think that there's anything wrong with missing hypomania, but I felt that if I was in the state of, of just yearning for it and, and complaining that I don't have it, then I wasn't actively trying to make myself better. And if I'm not actively trying to make myself better, because you know what, the hypomania, it's, it's part of the illness. It comes at a cost. And if I'm not actively trying to make myself better, then I might be a little lax in, in the self-control department and misrepresent myself for a potentially awesome date. So um, for me, it came down to those things and um, that's what I think. So uh, thanks for having me around. Bye.